Yo dudes, what's up? This is Planet Keith. Um, Keith, or am I Planet? No, I'm Keith. And uh, today we're going to get started on something that I've been promising for, ooh, since forever. One of the strands of this channel is going to be about electronics, Arduino, Internet of Things, stuff like that. So, um, yeah. It's an easy thing to say, but uh, as a total, total novice in the world of electronics, um, I'm, I'm completely, well, I'm not completely in the dark, I've done a lot of reading, but uh, I've not done any practical stuff so far because I haven't had the kit. However, now I do have the kit, the Arduino starter kit. Da, da, da. So... This is not the official Arduino starter kit, which costs considerably more than this and contains a lot less. Uh, this I got on eBay from a company called Digital Cure, and um, brilliant service. They dispatched it the same day by second class Royal Mail. They promised delivery date about a week hence, and um, it arrived in two days. So, very happy about that, except I was in the shower when the postman knocked on the door. but. That's another story. Anyway, um, I'm going to unbox the kit, tell you what's inside, what you get for your £26, and um, do my first Arduino experiment. How exciting, eh? So it comes in a convenient carrying case, which really is convenient, you know, it's a lot better than a jiffy bag. <laughs> so uh, you get a label, on the back of the label is uh, a list of the things that are probably in here. Actually, I've been through it once and not everything is on that list. Um, but, yeah, and some of it isn't, is only identified by serial numbers, but you can look them up on the interwebs to find out what they are really. Okay, let's go. So in this anti-static bag is your actual Arduino. This is a genuine Arduino Uno R3. Uh, which is, you know, the, the, there are many, well, there's a few different sizes and models of Arduinos, but I think this is the most common, the most popular, the most copied, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, well, it's a little circuit board. So I don't know how much you guys know, because, uh, well, I, I, I told my wife the other day that the Arduino starter kit had arrived, and a bit sheepishly she said what is an Arduino um, so <laughs> if you don't know and you know <laughs> most people don't know unless they're actually interested it's uh, it's it's a, a, a microprocessor that is designed for prototype prototyping things gadgets um, and basically it has lots of input pins and output pins uh, USB battery power or mains power through a you know, transformer thing or wall wart as the Americans like to call them and um, the microprocessor and there's a couple of LEDs on there and some jumpers and stuff anyway uh, basically this is nothing until you program it with something and then it will do whatever the program tells it to so uh, you know it could be a thing to control a toaster or a microwave oven, or a drone, or all kinds of stuff. Um, but the thing is, it, as far as I know, you can only have one program in memory at any one time. So if you're going to do a lot of Arduino stuff, you will need a lot of Arduinos. But that's really, it's not a problem. You can, you can get a genuine Arduino for around about £5, or less, if you want to wait a few weeks for it to come from China. So, um, yeah, brilliant, brilliant stuff. So that's the actual Arduino, and this is a prototyping shield with a mini breadboard. And I don't know exactly why you would do this. Well, I think I do. It's safe space. This shield. Uh, another concept in the world of Arduino is the shield, which is kind of expansion boards that are designed for different purposes, and they plug directly into the inputs and outputs. Of the Arduino itself um, and sit on top of it so it's like a shield. Uh, this prototyping one, I don't know, I expect I'll find out at some point, but um, yeah. <laughs> 
we won't worry too much about that right now. And here is a little chart of uh, resistors which are colour coded so you refer to this chart to find out what value of resistor you've got and there's 10 resistors there which I will have to look up on the chart to find out what their value is because I'm not doing it now. Then we have ooh, a bag of LEDs, uh, red ones, blue ones, green ones, very nice and we have some more resistors, different value and a bunch of LED things. So that's, that's uh, is it, do they call it a uh, one, two, three, seven segment display, that one. So that will be able to display alphanumeric characters. And that's the same thing, but there's four of them side by side. So that would be able to display a lot more. Um, this is a matrix, eight by eight, of uh, individual LEDs, which again, you can program to do magic with. And this, this is a shift register. Uh, <coughs> and I did look up what, what that was, but I can't remember. Um, it's a bit complicated. So anyway, we may or may not need that at some point in time. Another load of resistors. And uh, this is a, an ultrasonic distance sensor which I can, I can see would be great if you were like building a robot and um, you wanted it to stop moving before it rammed itself into a wall or something. That's, that's the thing for that. And then more resistors. Oh, it actually says what it is. It's uh, 220. Another little bag. Yeah, this is a stepper motor driver, which we'll come to presently. Now a very interesting thing, this little bag contains a bunch of sensors. So we've got light detectors, uh, infrared receiver, temperature sensor, flame sensor, tilt sensor. There's supposed to be two of those, I lost one, it'll turn up. Um, so the, the, these are all things that help your Arduino project react to its environment, which is marvellous. So like all the best boxes of chocolates, there's a couple of layers of goodiness in this box. Um, here we've got a USB cable, um, the kind that you would connect a printer to. And you need this to supply power and or to transfer data to your Uno board from your computer. Yeah, I didn't mention, you do need a computer to actually use this thing. <laughs> But, you know, we've all got one of those, at least one. A uh, bunch of cables with uh, female connectors on both ends. Uh, another bunch of cables with male connectors on both ends. This is a very sexy channel, you know. <laughs> and... Ah, yes. Well, one of the things I really wanted to play with, it's uh, this... Uh, small stepper motor. These things are insanely clever and um, yeah I'm really looking forward to having a spot of fun with that and also with uh, this which is a little servo motor, very little servo motor um, and again you know when I was a kid a motor just went round when you applied current to it but these days they don't just do that they can go round a little bit or quite a lot or as much as you tell it to so with both steppers and servos they you know they don't just go around they do stuff and these are some things that I guess you connect onto the shaft and I don't know really why and some teensy winsy screws and a uh, little infrared remote control which will work with the IR sensor I guess. Well, I know. It will. <laughs> and another, uh, this, this is another kind of LED. This is um, two-line uh, kind of matrix, which uh, may or may not be animatable, but will certainly look smarter than those um, seven-segment jobbies. Uh, so looking forward to using that one too. Um, this is a little green box. <laughs> which uh, doesn't do anything electronic, but I think you just, 
you, you put your resistors and things in there so you don't lose them. Ha. Okay, and a breadboard. Now, this is nothing to do with baking or food. Um, this is a thing that's wired up so that you can just plug in, you know, the ends of these cables just pop into the, the holes. Uh, no solder needed and you build your prototype circuits on a thing like this. So that's cool. And also, oh yeah, this is a moisture sensor, which is something else that, you know, I'm definitely going to be using things like this because I've got a plan to build a greenhouse and to automate everything into the environment inside. So in each plant pot there'll be a moisture sensor which will trigger a pump to supply more water if needed. So that's marvellous. Um, okay, a 9 volt battery and connector. Now I, I was um, having a fiddle with this earlier and I was thinking, hang on a minute, the Arduino board itself operates at 5 volts. So if I push 9 volts through it, will it blow it up? So I, looked it up, so I looked it up on the interwebs. In fact, the Arduino has uh, a voltage regulator. So if I plug this battery into there, um, the regulator will accept a voltage between 7 and 12 volts and will, you know, squeeze it down to 5. So it's perfectly wonderful. That's good. Good to know. Um, a spiky thing. <laughs> I don't know. I think this is again, you know, it, it'll it'll plug into lots of these pins and yeah, um, looks like you can snap off individual bits. Um, so yeah, I'm sure that's going to be useful for something. Three bits of plastic. I think these are for making yeah divisions in your box. So again, nothing really to do with the Arduino. And this baby here is a uh, Eurobot or YW robot, uh, is actually a power supply for the breadboard, I think. Um, and I don't know why, because the breadboard can draw power from the Arduino, but maybe you want for some reason to power your breadboard without it. So that's also got a USB and um, a socket for the, the battery or a wall wart and a button. Cool. <laughs> And finally, another bag with stuff in it, which of course I can't get open because I'm on camera. There we go. Right. Um, okay. Oh, poo. Okay. These these two things are buzzers. One of them is an active buzzer, and the other one is passive. And um, and I don't actually know what the difference is yet, but I dare say I'll find out. This here is a potentiometer, which is, you know, your basic control knob. So that's good. And the rest of these things are push buttons, four push buttons with um, different colored caps. Some little jumpers, a washer and a nut. I think they go with the potentiometer. And yeah, that's it. That's all you get for your 26 quid. That's actually pretty impressive. So now we're going to do our first Arduino experiment. Da, da, da. We have to go in the other room to the computer. Okay, so you've got your nice shiny new Arduino and I'll assume you've downloaded the Arduino software as well. Uh, I won't go into anything about that really at the moment because that's going to be a subject for another video. So the first thing you want to do with a new toy, as always, is plug it in. And um, so we're just going to get the power from the computer using the USB cable. And you can see there that that orange light is flashing on and off. And the reason for that is that all new Arduinos come preloaded with one little program, which is called Blink. And this is the hello world of uh, Arduino. When you learn a new programming language, the first thing you do is make it print hello world onto the screen. So <laughs> with Arduino, you make the LED blink. So it's already blinking. What we can do is program it to blink faster or slower. Uh, so in the Arduino IDE, Integrated Development Environment, 
there's there's a whole lot of example sketches or little mini programs that come included and blink is one of them so i can't actually change this original blink sketch because it's uh, right protected so i'll just um save a copy call it my blink okay now i can change anything i want so i'll change these um 1000 milliseconds to 250 and save that and then plug in the Arduino and upload it so So there we go, it's done it. It's flashing on and off four times faster than before. So let's change, um, we'll change the delay to 1250 and upload that. So it flashes on, then it waits for one and a quarter seconds and flashes again. So there you go, that is your first Arduino sketch. Brilliant, eh? <laughs> so if you like my channel, please subscribe. If you like the video, give it a like. If you've got anything to say, leave a comment. And thanks for watching, and see you next time.